Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, I will actually explain a little more here about the different versions and kind of try to bring all of you that are lost as to what is what and why and how and yes or no basically because I see a lot of everything and a lot of people wrong as to uh, the different versions and what's happening with Windows 10 and of course Windows 11 but we're going to focus probably a little more on Windows 10 on this video in the different versions so if you're on Windows 11 first of all you know that Windows 11 it gets 22H2 we're testing it in the insider rings right now and that's coming sometime in the second half of this year that is a known fact. We are testing it. We see it. Now, I've seen I don't know how many posts and comments that I removed because people are giving false information on Windows 10, saying, oh, no, no, 22H2 is nothing. It is not happening on Windows 10. It is. Well, the biggest problem that I seem to see among everyone is everybody thinking 22H2 brings Windows 11 style stuff and Windows 10 is not getting it because of that. It has nothing to do with that. 22H2 simply means one thing. It's a release in the second half of 2022. Both Windows 11 and Windows 10 are getting 22H2. Both of them. But Windows 10's 22H2, next version or feature update as they want to call it, is simply a very small cumulative update. We don't even know if it brings any new feature or if it's just going to make that version go to 22H2 with pretty much nothing. And that's all. So yes, 22H2 for Windows 10 exists, but don't fear Windows 10 is staying the same thing that it was and it is right now. Nothing big in there. 22H2 for Windows 11 is much bigger. Uh, both Windows 10 and Windows 11 are now on a one update a year schedule. Both of them. That means 22H1 is not a thing. I still see a lot of people saying, I still haven't got 22H1. It, it, there's no 22H1. There will not be a 22H1. We're only going to get one update a year, and for the most part right now, it's on the second half of the year. So, 22H1 is not existing. 22H2 will be a Windows 11 update that brings new features. 22H2 for Windows 10 is going to be a small cumulative update with pretty much nothing much to talk about. And that also means that it brings support for a longer time. A lot of people, once again, are not understanding that you cannot stay on your version of Windows 10 and be supported until December 2025. This needs to be updated so that 22H2, coming in the second half of this year, brings longer support to Windows 10. And this is going to happen once a year until the last update, which I'd guess would be 24H2, a year before it's officially the end of support for Windows 10. And at that time, you'll have your last support until the end of Windows 10, December 2025. That's the way it works. But you will have to follow the new feature updates every year in order to achieve a Windows 10 that continues to update until 2025. As for 20, uh, for Windows 11, well, same thing. You know, There's going to be an update next year, 23H2, and so on. And for as long as Windows 11 is a thing for Microsoft and for as long as there's not something else that pops up, that's going to be a new operating system. Uh, and the uh, end of support, of course, continues. Windows 11 has the same uh, th the same thing as Windows 10, an end of support that continues to go forward as long as you are in um, you know updating regularly to the future updates. 
And that's the thing. So yes, there's a 22H2 for Windows 10, like there's a 22H2 for Windows 11. They're not the same thing. Windows 11 is Windows 11. Windows 10 will not become Windows 11. And the last thing that people are saying is, will we be forced to Windows 11? No, you're not. And I don't even think that at the end of Windows support in 2025, you're not going to be automatically pushed to Windows 11, even if you're supported. You'll probably have some kind of nagging screen going to pop up saying, well, you know, if you want to enjoy a new Windows and enjoy the future, and well, move on to Windows 11. But uh, no, Windows 11 will not be pushed to Windows 10 users at all. It's a different Windows version. It will be, and like I said, maybe at some point there'll be pop-ups, a little bit of pop-up saying, well, you know, Windows 11 is here, but nothing else. Uh, that's what we know. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.